Michael Griffith. The title of his speech is Three Dads. Three Dads, Michael Griffith. When you were a kid, what were you afraid of? I was afraid of hog riders. Of course, I'm talking about bikers, who affectionately refer to their motorcycles as hogs. <clears throat> that was the sound of my nightmares. I would run, barely wake up just before that biker caught me. I don't know what he was going to do to me, but I knew it was going to be bad. Only a dream until my dad decided to drive across country on vacation. You have to understand, when I was 10 years old, there was no such thing as a movie in the car. We were expected to talk to each other. So I just looked out the window at Wyoming. <clears throat> No worries, I was safely behind the protective glass of a station wagon. But then there was another, <clears throat> and another, <clears throat> and three or four hundred more. My dad was really taking us to Mount Rushmore. It was just a coincidence, so he claims, that we arrived during the world's largest motorcycle rally. <laughs> <laughs> One week every summer, 400,000 bikers from all over the world converge on a teeny town in South Dakota. Welcome to Sturgis. Both sides of every street are lined with hogs. <laughs> and Dad said to get out of the car. I remember standing in a gift shop. I'd never in my life seen that much body hair. <laughs> or leather. Or tattoos or earrings, or other rings. And I was even more afraid of the men. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody else smell burning leaves? Why wasn't my dad afraid? To be honest, I think he enjoyed it. Is my dad secretly pot-smoking, hog-riding, Hell's Angel accountant? <laughs> no, my dad wasn't afraid because he knew something I didn't know. It took me 20 years to figure it out. When I was on a business trip, if you were with me driving down that street, there'd be a group of protesters, and there were three of their little kids holding signs. The first sign, the six-year-old said, Clan kids care. The seven-year-old said, K, K, K. And the nine-year-old sign read, Blanks, blanks, and blanks go home. I don't want to say the actual word. Honestly, I had to Google one. Have you ever had one of those crazy, dangerous, irrational thoughts just pop into your head? What if I go home? Nobody in this town would recognize me. Am I white enough? It's not like they're bikers. M moment later, I was face to face with KKK Dad. What are you guys doing? So we had a brief chat about white supremacy. And then I pushed the wrong button. I said, what if a Jew converted to Christianity? He did not like that question. I. Well, I, I just want everybody to be separate. Where's that station wagon when you need it? Clearly, nobody wanted to talk to KKK Dad because KKK Dad only wanted to talk about how he was different. Are you more like my dad who wasn't afraid or KKK Dad who was? I figured it out for myself yeah, one afternoon I knew that. when I, I took my four-year-old girl into a gift shop. And there he was, 
leather studded jacket, gnarly gray beard, and Harley Davidson tattoos. You think you rode a hog? Well, I drove a Nissan with a manly pink stripe. But this time I wasn't afraid. For some reason I was overcome with love because while my little girl squeezed my hand, at the end of this biker's tattoo covered arm, another little girl squeezed her father's hand. And she gazed up into his leathery face, and I knew what that look in her eyes meant. Daddy, I love you. Biker dad and I drove different vehicles, but we were the same. Apparently, I'm a pot-smoking hog riding Hell's Angel Dad, just without the hog riding and the pot-smoking and the Hell's Angels. I finally figured it out. KKK Dad only talked about how we were different. Biker Dad showed me how we were the same. And I finally understood my, why my dad wasn't afraid. Because whether you have been the mom, or you have been the dad, or you've been the 10-year-old, we all share a common humanity. Here's your sign. I learned from three dads that you get to fill in the blank. If you like the fear, focus on our differences. But if you're looking for love, love what we have.